Well, hello there everybody. And it was a rainy day today and it rained all day and I stayed at a conservation park just doing some writing, sipping some coffee, and also learning a bit more about video editing and how to go about trying to create a channel on YouTube, things like that. And I'm finding I'm sort of recalling my video editing skills that I had from before. Now this this approach, this style, is much different from, from what I was used to. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I'm trying to create as much film, filming, of my minivan camper conversion so that you guys get an idea of what it looks like. And at the back there, by the way, is my bed unit. And underneath that bed unit is tons and tons of storage. For example, this one here, I'm just gonna pop it open. This here is like, this is my pantry right there. But you can also see if you go really close that this wood doesn't necessarily match that style of wood because this entire thing was a budget build. And I spent a majority of my money on electrical, everything from the wires to, uh, uh, by the way, and also the, the diesel heater. So uh, I try to keep my costs down as, as much as possible. So here's what I've got right now. And some stuff I picked up uh, free, near free, found. Some of it was gifted. Other things I bought outright. And other things I, I bought from, let's say, from Goodwill or discount stores. So this is my build right now. And it's in a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. And that's what I've got right now. So anyway, I hope you guys like this quick video. It's about under two minutes, or about 2.05 or something. Uh, if you like my stuff, you want to see some more, please like and subscribe. It'll really encourage me to build out more, to create more videos like this. And if you have any comments, post it up. If you have any questions, post it up as well. Thanks very much, guys. Oh, wow, it's working. So, well, hello there, everybody. And I want to let you know that it's a rainy day today. And, you know, when I do these videos, you know, sometimes somebody had noted that who was around the GTA in Ontario, Canada. They said, hey, it wasn't snowing that day. How could you possibly have been out in the snow? Well, you know what, dude? I filmed it while there was snow. It's not like I could all of a sudden make snow for a day that doesn't have snow. But anyway, so when you're watching these videos, it's not like I did them the same day. And there was a part of me that thought that was kind of obvious. There are some times when I actually did do the video and then posted it the same day or the next day. So anyway, don't let it bother you if it's like a couple of days old or or whatever the case may be. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be making some coffee because it's that kind of day, you know, it's a, it's a cozy, cozy kind of day for me. And what I mean by that is, if you just listen to the rain, it's just beautiful. And you know, I did a video like this um, a couple of weeks ago, and it was very beautiful. It was it was nice. Rain is a calming thing to me. I kind of like hearing it on the rooftop here, so that's nice. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some coffee, and I'm going to do the famous pour, okay? And so first thing is uh, you need one of these guys, okay? And all it is it's a butane stove. I've got this. And I'm gonna get some water, and I'm just gonna make. The, I'm just gonna run this, and then, you know, not necessarily narrate it, but I'll, I'll try. Sorry, sorry, my my back is to you guys. I'm still trying to figure out a way to sort of create a, a proper uh, videos uh, video on how to. I might be cooking here. I'm like looking back all the time. Maybe I should put it over there. Maybe I should try that. But for today, we just have this. So. I have this thing called a coffee box, and in my coffee box, I keep my things related to coffee. I've got this, I've got my cup here, okay, that I could then use, right? And you're just gonna do all this stuff. And to make sure I have the proper measurements, I have, I take my cup, my mug, right, that I'm gonna have coffee with. See this? And pour it in, right? Just make sure you don't pour it on the oven. And then I, I add in just a bit more because, you know, there's a bit of evaporation. So I, 
I may, maybe another quarter mug that I have. It really depends on, you know, what you have. And just throw it there, place that there, pop that up, take the lid, there you go, and throw it on, pop that down and make sure it's center. Boom. Now, while this is going on, understand that I do have my window open, okay? I do have my window open at the front. Uh, you know, because the reality is, uh, <laughs> I have to like move around, you know? It's a tiny, tiny, tiny space. So, um, I, I do have um, a window popped open. So, it's gonna, there's gonna be some condensation because, you know, when you do these kinds of things, that's what happens, you know, butane, propane, uh, that's going to create a lot of water. So, uh, unlike a diesel heater, but the thing is I can't make coffee with a diesel heater. So, we'll just wait for it to start boiling. And, oh, what's great too, guys, is not only did I get a selfie stick so that it's not moving around again. Okay, it's okay. But it's working. Um, it's still working. Still, still intact. And not only did I get a selfie stick, I also got an SD card. So that means uh, the chances of like running out of room and my video is going, burr, okay, is lessened quite a by by a lot. So we're going to be doing okay with that. And so hopefully the quality goes goes up a little more. And yeah, we'll see what happens. We're just going to wait. It's not boiled yet. Still waiting. La 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 la. A whole new world. Okay, we're about about five minutes in already. As in, not that it started boiling. It's only been going for a, not even like a couple of minutes. I'm just being impatient. But I'll tell you what is happening. My windows are all starting to fog up. And yeah, it's all starting to fog up. And also because it is a little cold, it's starting to get cold in here. So I might turn on the diesel heater. Which actually, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I might. I will. And because I already ran my uh, my 35 minute at full blast scenario, I'm gonna put it down to 21. And I've got the silver duct here, okay. And I'm gonna point it at my feet because right now that's where it's needed because it's it's cold. It's somewhat cold here. So we'll see where that goes. Hold on. Let me just adjust this a little more. You know, as much as a pain as the silver duct is in terms of how it looks, it's been extremely, extremely useful. I mean, seriously, super useful. I, 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 I absolutely love it. Okay, hear that? It's boiling. Isn't that beautiful? You can see the steam going right up to here. So what would be great is at some point, I'm going to add a fan. So I'm going to turn it off. There we go. Pop that on. And now I'm ready to pour my coffee. So, time to pour the coffee, and in my case here, I'm just going to put it to the side here. I'm going to move here. Okay. Got this. Pop that there, right? And a filter. Okay. Get my filter. Okay, do that. I could show you the world. I could show you my van. I could show you my van. Copy, Coffee. Copy. I actually don't measure anything. I just sort of eyeball it, depending how I feel. Oh, coffee smells so good. I mean, it just, it just smells so good, this coffee. Oh, 
Oh man, I just love the smell of this coffee. And you know what it is? It's actually, uh, it's, it's, it's Verona, Cafe Verona. <sighs> Ooh, it smells so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the pour. Unfortunately, I've got this camera hooked up and it's hooked up so well, I don't wanna detach it and mess it up. So you're gonna have to watch me do the pour from the side here, okay? So here we go. And it's just so beautiful. The, oh man, look at that. It's just so luscious. Oh, yeah. It's just the entire van is filled with wonderful, wonderful coffee, scent, and more steam. And that's kind of the kind of thing we kind of want to avoid in a van. So it's always good to have a window open. I'm going to do that. And my diesel heater is running. I could feel it on my feet. <laughs> you know, it's the simple things in life. But it really is, you know. It's This is such a simple thing. I'm parked at a conservation area. And I'm making coffee. And it's the most exciting thing for me right now. And I think the best part is, it's just me. And I'm able to sort of just do this. And be alone with my thoughts and talking to a camera and at some point posting it on YouTube and then you guys actually seeing it thinking wow what kind of build does he have you know um, but it's nice you know I'm just wondering at some point I, I, I mean like look the reality is at some point we'll have our low days there might be a day where I'm, where, where I'm going to be like, man, I really can't stand having my van anymore. This day is not it. And I, I, I actually can't see that day actually happening. And, and if it does happen more than once, twice, or more than I really want it to be, I'm going to change. And that's how it is. And I remember somebody saying to me one time, oh, I hate my job. And I'm thinking, you know what? You don't hate your job. You just... You just dislike it a lot. Because if you hated your job, you'd quit. You actually wouldn't even show up. You'd say, I hate this. So when you use the word hate, you actually, you may not even just hate it. You probably just kind of dislike it. Or if you sort of dislike it or hate it, you don't hate it enough to quit. So I I don't think I've ever said I, I hate my job. And, and if I did kind of like hate something or really dislike it, I would discontinue it I would leave I would re revise I would retreat reassess reapply and then go forward and and here I am and trying to get philosophical uh, and that's a part of my life that I've, I've seen more and more for just for myself um, I have a I, I had I have a story like I have a fitness I have a fit an, I, an IG fitness account I mean who doesn't right and I, I documented my, my weight loss. I used to be, get this, I used to weigh 310 pounds. That's right, 310 pounds. And maybe that's a story that I'll tell another time. But for, na for now, I'm going to pour some more coffee. And as I'm pouring this, you can probably hear the heater. Okay. But... I used to weigh 310 pounds, and I'm not a tall guy. I mean, this this minivan is actually kind of comfortable for me, right? So, um, and imagine me, 310 pounds, and I lost about 165, and it changed my life right across the board. I can already tell you right now, if I weighed 310 pounds, I probably wouldn't be as comfortable here as I am right now. But yeah, so how did we get that? Oh yeah, we were talking about things that you hate and it got to a point where I said you know I hate being obese I hate being overweight and so I did something about it man that coffee smells so good and right now in this little moment in time I completely love it I've got the rain I've got my diesel heater I've got my coffee I've got my little space I've got my whole new van all new world van whatever I've got a beautiful view um, what more can I want? Aside from maybe some blueberry pie. Blueberry pie.
that'd be nice. You know, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some blueberry pie at some point. But yeah, so, hey, you know what? I'm already at like 12 minutes for this particular film session. I'm gonna sign off, and I really appreciate you guys hanging around, uh, listening to me talk and plan around. And you know what I'm about to say, if you like the video, upvote it, like it. And if you want to see some more, you want to get some notifications, lots of notifications, they're free, you know, uh, let me know. Just, just subscribe and uh, I would really appreciate that. It'll help me grow my channel and, and you know, comments, you know, send me your comments. I mean, I, I, I just want to know what you guys are thinking, what you think of all this, you know, good or bad, I kind of want to know. Yeah, I, can. I, I don't mind knowing. I mean, if there's some things that I can prove upon. Like, one of the things was that, um, oh, damn, your James, your, 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 your music is too loud. And you know what? I had this background music playing all the time. And if I do happen to add some background music to this, hopefully you can, you can sort of hear hear me talk over the background. The background music is supposed to add add the whole thing, right? And, you know, add, add to the whole effect, right? It's sort of like, you know, I'm going to cue it up like right now. Boom. Yeah, you know, background music. You know, and, and every time you hear this, it's like, oh, he's done. But you know what? I'm going to start adding some cool stuff in my next one. I'm not sure what. But then at some point, you know, I do add the whole like and subscribe, you know. That way I'm reminding you because I really, you know, I want to, I want to see this thing grow. I, I'd like to see it and hope, I'd like to see it grow and hopefully you want to see it grow well uh, because if it does grow it does encourage me to make more videos and obviously if you don't like the videos you're not gonna like it and then I'm just going Woo, that's it I'm gonna, actually it doesn't matter I'll still make videos <laughs> anyway guys have a great and fantastic week and remember you're awesome man you're amazing you can do stuff but you know what you got to do you have to plan things plan it out plan things out stumble saying that plan things out write that stuff down wake up and remember to start being where you want to be you have to be consistent and I think most importantly you have to show up and when you are there be all there yeah I think I'm completely dead now put on my coffee and turn yourself down And there you have it. Please support my channel by commenting and subscribing. It's free and it can help you with your own tiny home build as I will be giving out free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen. And if you believe someone else may benefit, please share the video of my curated playlist. I could show you my van.